All right. So what I am working on right now is I'm just hacking on a little, it's kind of my own version of like Cortana or uh, Siri or whatever. It's just a speech recognition um, and it's done in Python. So let me, I'll do a quick demo real mm -hmm. quick and then I'll kind of show you how it's done. So let me start it. Google really good potato recipes. Googling really good potato recipes. So it'll Google things, or I can say something like, which is closed. Let me make sure it actually closes. Open terminal. Opening terminal. And it opens up my terminal. Um, and so what we're doing here is I'm pulling in the Python speech recognition library, and then we're using Google's uh, speech API to go ahead and, and translate that into text. And so this right here is, is what gets it from. You just have to do the pip install speech recognition. You might actually have to do the pip install Py audio as well. And then we pull it all in and we handle it with Google. You have to have a Google secrets key um, to access our API. And that's actually kind of, this is what we're doing to, to get that back. Um, no, that's not what we're doing to get that back. But the Google API is handled over here in secrets. So I've got it saved in here and mine saved somewhere else. But to get it, you have to sign up for their Chromium dev list for it to show up in the API. And even then, they limit you to, I think it's 50 requests a day. I'll bring that up real quick. But that's what brings, sends it back as text. Um, and so they give you that key. Um, I'll bring that up later. And then it recognizes it. And then I'm sending it to this handle function. And it's just looking, it's taking the, the first word that you give it and using that, doing a string comparison to decide what to do with it after that. And I've got a couple of procedures set up to handle that. So the web procedures right here, uh, if you want to Google something, it'll call this um, webbrowser.open, which is built in with Python, to, to just go ahead and Google search for that. And it'll open it up in your default browser. If you want to open up a command line or do anything with the command line, you can just do it with the OS system. So I can make it say something if I want to go, say Ben is cool. Ben is cool. We'll go ahead and say that, or I can make it open a program like the terminal. Um, and then you can add custom things. So right here I added a, if you're included in this custom list right here. So I can say, Custom, tell me a joke. Unknown custom command. And if it doesn't find the words, it will error out. Custom, tell me a joke. Hiroshima, 45. Chernobyl, 86. Windows, 95. Um, and so it's pretty basic right now. The, the next thing I'm going to try to do is put actual speech recognition in there so that it'll um, go through and actually try to figure out what you're trying to say to it and handle more than just basic commands. But yeah, that's kind of where it sits right now. Any questions on that? No, this looks really cool. Yeah, and I've got it up on GitHub if you guys want to check it out. I'll, I'll post the link so you guys can find it, but it's up here and, and I've got the, the readme on there. So the natural language toolkit I'm actually not using yet. That's the next thing I'm going to try to implement. But you just go get the Google API and you change your secrets and your custom file because those are Git ignored. And then this is the, the Google API right here. You sign up for this and they just walk you through and you get your API key. Don't look at my API key. Oh, well, it's too late. No, I'm looking after this. Really? Oh, well. <laughs> but you, it'll show you how many um, requests you have. So it does limit you to 50 a day. And there are other things I can use, but the Google one seems to work the best.